Hi, in this video I want to talk about what is a directional selection and here is a problem. A scientist measures uh, the circumference of acorns in a population of oak trees and discovers that the most common circumference is 2 cm. What would you expect the most common circumference to be after 10 generations of directional selection? And here are the four answers to choose from. Answer A, 2 cm, answer B, greater than 2 cm or less than 2 cm, answer C, greater than 2 cm and less than 2 cm, and D, can tell from the information given. And I have a hint for you, this is not the answer D, there is a correct answer here. And before I give you an answer, let me explain what the directional selection is. So imagine that we have two axes here and uh, here would be two centimeters here would be one centimeter size of the acorn and here for example three centimeters and here would be quantity so we would have different quantities uh, depending on the size and uh, the normal uh, quantity and size uh, would look something like this, so we call this bell uh, shape or bell curve and um, most of the uh, acorns would be around 2 centimeters so this is going to be the most popular size and we also would have here uh, extreme uh, phenotypes that would be uh, um, present in much less quantities, those uh, whose size is about 3 cm and those whose size uh, is about 1 cm or less. So uh, what is a directional selection is when we have something that uh, we might have uh, after 10 generations, after directional selection we might have this uh, shape to change to something like this. For example, if there would be preference for the, uh, for example, size of three centimeters, uh, that might happen for the number of different reasons. There can be, for example, environment, environmental uh, influences and uh, there can be also some kind of environmental uh, pressure why, for example, um, acorns that would be bigger would survive better uh, I'm not sure about uh, acorns but you know that some seeds and nuts uh, need to go through the uh, gut system of the animals, for example, in order to survive and imagine that, for example, if we have small um, seeds, they can be, for example, digested, and those so that is big uh, would survive and uh, would sprout out after they would uh, naturally come out of the bird's gut system. And uh, also we may have a different picture, for example, when we have uh, another uh, environmental pressure and our picture may look like this for example here would be two centimeters one centimeter here and three centimeters here and uh, we might also have picture that might look like this so uh, in this case of course uh, uh, we would see that uh, Selection would be against 2 cm and 3 cm, uh, that is here, and uh, the number or quantity of the uh, nuts would prevail, that is uh, smaller, for example, because uh, this, for example, can be ignored by um, some animals, like... Uh, wild pigs for example and they would eat more this uh, 
uh, phenotype. So eventually, after number of generations, only this would survive, and you would see that this is uh, going to be change in uh, size. So we would see from this normal si size that we start with two centimeters, we would see uh, directional change in size. And the same here. Here would be uh, directional selection uh, uh, to the larger size. So from this medium size to this larger size against uh, this medium sized and small sized. So as you see uh, we have uh, a directional selection after each generation uh, our curve would move more and more to one side and this can be any side. Uh, we are not told uh, which is the uh, direction so we assume that this is can be weather uh, to uh, direction of the bigger uh, acorns uh, or it can be in the direction of the smaller sized uh, acorns so as you see the correct answer would be b greater than two centimeters or less than two centimeters so important word here or this give us only one choice whether least whether bigger and for example in answer c we have greater than two centimeters and less than two centimeters and this would be incorrect answer because here we have and and that means that uh, we would have two waves here so this would be uh, one wave and another one uh, here so this selection would be against this medium genotype and uh, we call this disruptive selection and uh, answer A, 2 centimeters would be correct if uh, selection would be against these extreme phenotypes so our curve would look uh, like this so we would increase quantity of this medium sized uh, genotype and phenotype and this would decrease so uh, the correct answer B and this is all for today thank you for attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments see you next video goodbye